Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. Well today, it's a very exciting day here in our studio because we have an unboxing for you. And this is the Love From Lizzie March 2024 pack and it is called Vintage Escapes and it's gorgeous. So I'm going to lift the lid and show you what's inside. So first of all, we have some A4 card. It might be better actually if I slide the box to one side, then I can show you the contents as we go. So we have some yellow, some cream yellow, some craft card, some black card, always very handy. A lot of people think, why on earth would you use black in crafting? It can, it can come in very handy. And we have another piece of craft card. Lovely, I think that's slightly lighter. And a beautiful bright white card and a rose gold mirror card. Now let me just slide those across so that I can get them all in the shop. So there are our sheets of card. So we have one, two, three, I think we've got five there. One, two, three, no, six. I don't know if we're supposed to have six, but I've got six, but they're absolutely gorgeous. And we have some patterned paper as well. And there's quite a lot of that. I was just trying to get it out. Now, some of this is double-sided and some isn't. Some is single-sided. And we have this, this is like a linen effect, a linen texture. And we have what look like stamps. And that is a single-sided. We have one, this is a double-sided. This has got, if I turn it around, it's got images of suitcases. So ideal for travel and a beautiful check pattern on the back on the other side and we have a map i'm not sure if it's a real map or whether it's a made up map or map of anywhere in particular but it's a map and on the back we have another pattern so that's gorgeous then we have these pin stripes that go diagonally and again on the back on the other side we have i think they're ships it's a bit difficult for the camera to pick them up, but I think they're ships. And then we have a very subtle pattern. And on the other side, we have the more pronounced polka dots. We have newspaper print. And on the back, or on the other side, I should say, I shouldn't keep saying back. On the other side, we have some more travel images. Then we have some map markers or place markers. And that's a single one. We've got some aeroplanes and that's a single one. We have some tickets for different airports or different destinations. So we've got Frankfurt, Delhi, Hong Kong, Sydney, LAX, Los Angeles. And again, that's single sided. We have landmarks such as the Eiffel Tower there. I think we've got others there, which is a bit difficult to pick up from this distance. And we have another map. It look, that looks more like a map of the, maybe is it a map of the world or part of a map of the world? And we have some letters or postcards. So they are gorgeous. And we have a bag here of all sorts of goodies. So it's a Ziploc bag, so it's easy to open, to use those open. So now what's just, ah, now let's start with that. This is a really, really handy tool. It's called a paper distress. It's for distressing paper. It's a paper distresser. And what you do, let me just take one of these and you scrape it down one side like that. I might use that on a project. And it just breaks down the fibres and makes them a bit rough, makes them a bit ragged. So if you're doing a shabby chic, or something like that, or more uh, for vintage, of course, that distress look blends beautifully. And um, we have some dyes, and I think these are more male oriented dyes, which is wonderful. Don't we always want some images and things for, for the men in our lives? So we have a football, and they're quite a good size. And we've got a darling little car, absolutely love that. Got to do something with that. And we've got some word dies that one says brother because they're dies it's back to front but that's the way it goes and that one says granddad that one says son some are easier to read than others 
that one says dad so we'll put that up there then we have some gorgeous little sunglasses absolutely lovely and we have a moustache dye isn't that gorgeous if i pop that down there you'll probably see it better than if i lift it in my hand then we have some lace and i think there's about a meter of each i haven't measured them but it looks like there's about a meter of each and they're all different widths and slightly different pattern laces so again that lovely vintage effect and if you don't want them this color you can color them if you've got alcohol markers or even sharpies if you want them to be colored you can color these so they're absolutely beautiful and then we've got other bags of goodies oh before i show you the other bags of goodies this has just popped out at me we've got some little bling now they're, they're small but they're really sparkly and again that really vintage flavor or vintage feel so i'm going to pop them down there we have another little bag of goodies here oh and that's just popped out some photo corners again all in rose gold so these are going to coordinate beautifully so oh i see we have got some little cork shapes it looks like and we have a heart shape i'll pop that up there and we've got another heart shape so it looks like we've got doubles of each so i'll pop that there we have two circle so you could make some tags for these if you wanted to and we've actually got some tag shaped cork shapes with the with the twine attached but if you don't want the twine you can take it off that's no problem at all and we have another bag of little goodies oh my goodness it's like a tardis the more you look in the more you find so i'm just going to take these out these are little wooden shapes oh now i'm glad we've got those because i was after something like that we've got an arrow if i just pop that lot to one side so that i can find a fresh piece of white card to put it down or white backing and we've got, we've got several arrows actually if i just lay them down i'm glad we've got those because i was looking for some arrows for a project in fact it'll probably be my first project from this from this kit so that's jolly handy so thank you lizzie for that you must have known dear so she's a she's a clever lass is our lizzie she seems to know what we want even before we've said so that's brilliant and we've got a little aeroplane we've got a camera we have a suitcase and we have a little map marker a little place marker now if i just bring the camera in just a little bit and just slide my paper down perhaps you can see those a little bit better so we have all those bits and pieces there and again i'm going to push it over i'll only i can only push it so far before it all goes plonk onto the floor and we have yet another bag with some this time with some keys inside these are little metal keys if i can get them out and they're three different sizes so if you're making journals or if you're making for example a 21st or a special birthday if key to the door or a key moment in your life or somebody else's life so that would be lovely and then we have we have some stamps now these stamps are gorgeous we've got some word stamps or phrases i am just a call away that's nice you are thought about i am thinking about you wherever wherever you are so you could put these you could make up your own sentiments i'm thinking about you wherever you are you are thought about wherever you are wherever you are i'm just a call away wherever you are you are loved and we have a suitcase which looks like it's absolutely packed obviously someone's been looking at my suitcases when i pack because that's what mine look like and when i come back they look even worse and we've got this beautiful cityscape now i've definitely got an idea of what we can do with that so there we go so that's that and in here oh we've got some more papers missed those sorry about that so we have yet more papers so these brown pinstripes and we've got some polka dots on the back didn't see those sorry about that guy we've got some destination stamps that you get on a on a passport and that's just that's a plain one plain single-sided and we have some bicycles and on the back you've got the word hello in different languages then you've got these are they compass type images a sort of compass type image and again this is a very textured linen effect 
and it's plain on the back. So if you wanted a plain linen, it could almost be like a canvas. And you want to do, if, if we've got any artists among us and you want a plain canvas style, you can paint on the back of that, guys. So there we go. And we still haven't finished, don't run off yet, because there's still quite a bit, there's still a bit to see. Now, we have an embossing folder. Now, anybody who knows me well knows I love embossing folders. And to me, that looks like a stained glass window, or it looks like it could be a stained glass window because you've got these lovely patterns. So that's what we're going to do with that. Well, that's what I'm going to attempt to do with it anyway. So that's for another project. And we have just a few more bits. We have, oh, right, okay. So we've got some peel-offs, but they're 3D peel-offs. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up. I'm not sure if it does. But instead of just laying flat like most peel-offs do, these ones, not only are they beautiful and sparkly, but I'm not sure the camera is going to pick it up. They're domed, so they're almost like a 3D. So if you wanted to make a 3D frame, they're domed. They're not flat, they're domed. So if I put my nail across, then you can hear the texture. And we have some layers. If I put it that way, perhaps you can see it better. These are like a stamp. And it's like our nesting dies, but these are nesting stickers. Peel-off stickers. And they're on a type of acetate. And I've just cut my finger now, so I won't be able to peel it off. But you get the idea. And we've got some date stamps along there as well, some postmarks. And then we have some of our standard peel-offs. And these are rose gold. And they will just peel off like that. And then, last but by no means least... We have the most enormous pack of ephemera I have ever seen in my life. There is so much, well it's not an enormous pack, but there is so much in it. So let's just see if we can pop some of this to one side. Hopefully it won't fall on the floor. But the floor's not too far away, so if it does it's not going to do much damage. So I won't go through everything because we'll be here all evening. But I'll take some of them out and give you a general idea. Oh, oh it is all going to fall out. Okay, fine. So what we'll do, I'll show you the ephemera. We've got this beautiful Stetson hat here. And we've got, are they postcards? Yeah, it looks like we've got some postcards. We've got a compass. That's absolutely brilliant. I was looking for a compass. Thank you. And we've got some bicycles. A, oh, sorry, that went off camera. We've got a bicycle. We've got a camera. I'll try and put these out a bit quicker. We've got what looks like a journal. These are absolutely gorgeous. We've got a backpack and it looks like it's absolutely crammed full. We've got the rear end of a Volkswagen Beetle. Absolutely gorgeous. Another little journal, so a travel journal perhaps. And it's the same sort of thing. I won't go through everything because it's sort of generally the same. And we've got an aeroplane and I'm going to use that. So I'm glad we've got an aeroplane because I was looking for something like that. And we've got things like our cases with things on top and bursting out, things bursting out. We've got camper vans, more cameras. We've got a pile of books there. It's sort of, it's all very vintage style. And oh, we've got a, two pairs of sunglasses, actually. Or are they goggles? Actually, they could be goggles, swimming goggles, because they, they look like they've got a band around them. But they are definitely sunglasses, so they are great. And the one thing that hasn't come up yet, we've got a globe. So that is fantastic. So, oh, and we've got a pile of suitcases. So it's all sort of to do with travel, vintage and travel. So I'll push them up there. And that really is it, guys. And I'm not even going to try and put it all back in the same, in the box. Well, I will put it back in the box in a minute, but I'm not going to try and do it quickly now because I know it'll go everywhere. So that is our Love from Lizzie March 2024 kit called Vintage Escapes and I will be doing a video tomorrow and I will be doing my first project and I'm glad that's to one side because I'm after that. I'm not going to give the game away but I'm after that compass and possibly if I can find it quickly but if I, oh yes, no that'll do for now. I won't give the game away too much, yes. I'm going to keep that compass out to one side because I'm after that for my first project I mean, all will be revealed tomorrow. So I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and I will leave a link to the Love From Lizzie website down below. 
So they're going out to subscribers now. And if I understand, pardon me if I'm wrong, but I understand if there are any left over, you can buy them as a single box. Other people can buy them as a single box if you're not a subscriber. But if you do manage to do that, I'm sure you will subscribe after this because once you're a subscriber, you get your boxes sent to you every month. And they really, are, once you've enrolled and filled in all the forms, it's ever so easy. So easy, even I can do it. So it's got to be easy. So there you go, guys. I will add a link so that you can go and have a browse at the website, whether you choose to go for this kit or other things, because there are millions of things on there. They're really good. And I'll leave you with that. And I will be back tomorrow with our first project. So I'll see you then. And in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Do take care, everybody. Have fun. And as always, you've guessed it, happy crafting. Bye-bye for now.